improvement with his team. Christian Coloco with the miss. He has just attempted 11 field goals on the year, so 4 of 11 for the 7 foot 1 inch Coloco. Move out here. Five times that head coach has gone above 30 wins in a season in his career. 30 wins in a season. Long distance dedication, and it starts hot again for Baker. What a great start. Nice job, Brown defensively, but there's another chance here for Reedus, who is a relentless rebounder, known for his rebounding ability. But Reedus, who averages six points, four rebounds, puts that one home the senior. Yeah, we see the physicality right away on the offensive rebound. We have not seen that from any other team that at Old Miss. Just an incredible resume as a player and coach. There was a time where it was tough to win at Ole Miss in that conference with that step. How about the sharing of the basketball? Three-point make of the year, and here come the Cats again. Boy, a little look fake to Terry Brown, and let's see if they'll count it. They should, because he grabbed the rim and it affected the ball right there. That should be to text and get answers from those who can quickly look things up. It's fun. Look, it's an honor to be sitting in this chair, a true honor. It, it really is. I mean, I'm just, it, I mean, I'm, you and I are one of the two people in Tucson. It's it's just, uh, I'm glad they're playing is what, is what I'm trying to get to. Justin McCall dropped in that triple a moment ago. A young man out of Bakersfield, California. Ridgeview High School again. Jamal Baker being his endless energy out there. Azulis Tubelis, number 10 in that white cat stop, is out there. And the freshman, Benedict Matherin, number zero. Pennsylvania have found his way to Bakersfield. We'll tell you about him when, when we see him at some point. But you're right, this is an old team. And this is a physical team. We knew that if you get that position right under the rim. Swung back out to the man who dominated at Seattle. Thought about three, instead penetrated with success. The rim, they need to, if they're going to give him the three, just give it to him. Don't give up a driving lane. There again, quick feet, good hands. That was terrific right there. Matherin, the Canadian, fires that one up. Young man out of Montreal, followed his shot. Love that effort. Rod Bolte. Frustrated with himself, almost like he second-guessed himself. It looked like he was concerned that the Bakersfield player was coming under him. I think he... Matherin won another chance. Brown into the corner, earns a three-point look, and that was pretty. JT back on the bench, he had a, an inconclusive test prior to last game, so they had to be safe. Akinjo receives the pass from the great passer in Brown. Right there, but JT, man, he was just terrific. Still at the moment ago, whistled for his second foul on Baker's field. Unbelievable. Baker again with the <laughs> fighting Rocky or something, and D. Will kept that Arizona team in it. The whole first half, it looked like Arizona was going to get blown out. See an easy one right there to give him the 25 points. That took it from nine to six points, and I turned to Brian Jeffries and I said, you know, my, my, my partner Jeffries, I said, I think year after year after year, Adrian Tigert, who played for the program, a thousand point score, very young, maybe looked very old, was my analyst the majority of the time. The rebounding battle is interesting. Uh oh, here we go. How about that follow? The length of Terry pays off again in the athleticism and the bounce. Yeah. Matt Mulebach, Darren Sutton, glad to have you with us. We're talking about Tiger Campbell for UCLA, he needs his conference on assists. McCall underneath snap. Slasher is fearless all over the place. And this is a couple of long distance attempts that have dropped home for Brown. Along the baseline. East with a beautiful look and an unkind roll. Another one. Again, Brown. Bang! He drops that one in. Two. So his fitness has never come into question. You, you, you notice a Kim Joe on every make or miss, how, how hard he pushes. Mather in there for three, knocks that one down. He points. That's his first three-point make of this one. Shot clock at four. Easter. Ooh. Just a physical bang underneath. That's Cameron Smith. Comes up short. That's one guy. I would have loved to have had a few months with our nutrition guys in our weight room. He missed it. Yeah, he, he was probably the one here. They, they go into Brown, no double team, but a great job there by Reedy because he was able to push him out so much. Coloco receives the pass from Akinjo. Team leaves Reedus open for a minute as he drops back into the paint. Perry, that one rings in and out, but a follow there, just flying through. Arm. Yeah, stay out of foul trouble. Oh. 
hard for big men to play that many minutes, especially with this team with so many good guards like Akinjo. But Brown is there with the block. Looks like he's got foul, actually. Akinjo up with it, back-to-back -back attempts. Ooh. There's the big fella, the loco. Brown in the, in the post, but does a good job standing up straight. Well, he did. He really did. Right oh. back the other way. Athleticism supreme, Benedict Matherin. The impact has been the largest on this game. And he's been a tool shed of things he's been able to do. My goodness, with two in the shot. That time a beautiful slice through penetration by Akinjo again. I actually wanted to see them maybe go another zone, but that was a good thing. You want to make it interesting, you need a couple of defensive stands if you're the Roadrunners. Last minute decision to get it to Vistro, who just banged it off the and You can see a similar frame, obviously. Idolizes him. He just looks up to everything he does. And he kind of almost moves like him. When he plays, that's who he plays for. And there are times around with a nice block, but sticking to it the most control. Looks like the biggest pro across the Yeah, I would agree with that. And you know what's crazy is he's one of the youngest. He's Literally 18 right off, but not even close. They had such a, a following last year, and they have so much momentum, and they've got a great team this year. I actually can't wait to see him play Stanford. As Tabell is not going from that deep. He bounces a pair of assists as well. Coming off a 33-point effort. Record-setting effort for him against Northern Arizona. And the most under the white world after that. Love it. No, they do a great job. They do. It's, fun to it's, a, break down it's a pretty fun, a little informal. They, they just had a good time. We, we talked about the better in that department. I really have to say, I almost wonder if the bus ride that Bakersfield took, I'm serious, you know, may have really affected them a bit. Of playing with a lot of fire. So it needs to be pointed out for this team sharing it really well. You can really see it whipping around the, the perimeter. Look at that, just as we, we talked about it. Well, there's Baker. He gets on one. So much pride in the way he went about his business. And as I said, the city was reaching. Very searching. Really a lead. And you can say, honestly, Eastern Washington presented a challenge. You were there. You sat in this chair. On the Ted Cole again. Such a beautiful high up and over shot. 13.6 rebounds. A lot of fun little storylines tonight. Coming out for the area career. Kim Joe up with the chains at home. Team up for their next challenge here in a couple of days. And the biggest challenge is just having them up every single day. Having them testing. COVID testing at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, work the clock out now. The Arizona Wildcats extend the perfect start to the season. And Sean Miller's team in this challenging 2020 is 4-0. you got to be excited about Rod Barnes' team and what they will do in the Big West. But tonight, the Wildcats, a 25-point win. The Wildcats victorious, 85-60.